It must have been, you know, difficult for her being the first girl ever to come and play in men's lacrosse, so I'm sure she had some butterflies. We have this saying that not necessarily just about being a goalie or a lacrosse player or a female, it's about being the best you that you can be and constantly competing and striving to be better. My name is Devin Wills. I play on the U.S. national team and have been in two World Cups and am now trying out to be a New York Wizard. Ball stop loss! Ball stop loss! I grew up in a developing area in Colorado, so there wasn't a lot of women's lacrosse to watch. So I watched boys, and you know, Quinn Kessick was always the announcer, and I used to tape them and watch them on repeat. So there wasn't an MLL then, but you know, just watching men's lacrosse is all I really knew of the next level. So we, you know, we had talked a little bit, and she had approached us about an opportunity, and kind of went back and forth on it for a while, made sure that everybody was doing it for the right reasons, and we gave her a chance. It was really exciting when he, he told me he played my right, and then you know everything kind of got real at that. <laughs> Devin is an extremely accomplished lacrosse player. She's a coach. She knows the game. There's nothing she could have done to prepare herself truly for what she was going to see here today. It's a groundbreaking thing for both games in terms of how a woman can transition over to the men's game. I think the biggest challenge is, you know, one, probably being completely comfortable, not only stopping the ball, but also, you know, being a voice and a leader because that's what the goalie position is. Getting completely comfortable with the speed and everything is going to be an adjustment and it's just going to take a little bit of time. And again, it's just about stopping the ball and that's got to be my focus. You know, goalies at, at this level have success a lot of different ways. There's not really one mold that everyone has to fit into. You know, Devin, she has all of that. I don't think she's missing any, you know, skill or attribute that she needs to be successful. One of the biggest testaments I can give her is that I didn't notice when she was in goal, so that's a good thing. Their first three shots were three saves. I think that's better than the other three goalies. I know I didn't make my first three saves. She came in, she dressed up, she had her helmet on, she was in goal, and she saved one of my, so my shots. To me, it's just about making a team and trying to compete for a spot. One, three, one, two, three, three. A girl that needs someone to look up to in women's lacrosse, she's, she's a great example of someone who can do that and breaking boundaries and uh, you know defying odds and stuff is neat and it's always exciting to be a part of and you know I'm glad it was our team that took the chance to pick her up and give her a shot. So what does it mean to be a champion? My definition of a champion is someone who's never content with where they're at. If you're gonna put your name on something you do it as hard and as best as you can. Whether it's on the field in a game, in a practice, in a weight room, in a training field by themselves as someone that just gives it 100% all the time. There's always ways to get better, to compete, to find what you're good at and to excel with that. And I think with that is just continuing to believe in yourself and, and try to break boundaries, try to be different and do what nobody else has done before. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to The Whistle and comment below on who you think is the champion.